In this video, I'm going to show you how to motion block to pick up the best blitz in the game out of the dollar three two, the DB fire two, or the spinner defense that you're seeing a lot of competitive players use at a high level. Now, motion blocking is a great little concept to pick up pressures like this. And so we're just going to walk you through how to utilize that in this video. Now, one of the things that EA kind of brought back this year was the ability to same side motion snap your receivers. Let me give you just a quick little brief example here. You'll see a great way to beat zone. It's just I'm going to motion this guy and then I'm going to snap the ball and I can kind of get him underneath a lot of really good zones. Now, uh, we're going to show you how to use this to pick up blitzes out of multiple formations that might give your running back trouble might give your tight end trouble and it's also one of the many reasons why i believe that trips tight end is the best offense in the game because we can utilize motion this year uh, better than we've ever been able to or not ever but better than we've been able to in recent history to be able to actually combat some of these pressures and also still be able to use all of our routes. So if you want to learn my entire Trips Tight End Offensive ebook, make sure you're in our Patreon. It's only $10. It'll get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all the updates to those ebooks that we will release as long as you're a member. And uh, we've already released like seven offensive and defenses so far this year with more on the way. And all those schemes, remember, we're updating those for you guys as well. All right, so I wanted to show you this little tip here out of this play. So all we're going to do is we're just going to um, just kind of show you first the problem. So the problem is this. Uh, this DB fire is really good, and it's going to come off of both edges a lot of times. You see there, and then you're also going to get that really nice shed animation from the defensive tackle. So let's say that I want to pick this left side pressure up, but I don't have a tight end or running back on the left side. What I can do this year is I can go ahead and put my, I can block my running back, but then let's say that I want to, you know, again, maybe I want to run like a, just a little basic, uh, just a very basic concept here out of this PA slot corner. And then I'm going to block Mike Evans, but I don't want to block Mike Evans on the right side of the formation because if I block him on the right side of the formation, then the running back and Mike Evans are basically going to block the same person. So what we want to do is we want to put Mike Evans in motion and then we want to snap the ball when he gets to the tackle. Right there, you see he will block that edge, kind of seal that for us, and then we're able to step up and be able to make a read. It's a really, really important tactic this year, in my opinion. Now, another thing that you can do with this is not to say that we can't motion um, across and then block off the other edge as well. So in this example, I'm going to drag my tight end, just set up a little route combination out of this, and then we're going to motion Jones. And this time, because our running back is coming across the formation, we're going to pick up that right edge and then let the running back pick up the left edge. And you see we were able to secure the pass protection and we're able to get the pass off. Now, you can do this in other formations. It's not just trips tight end. It's actually something that makes formations like gun tight, makes formations like gun spread really, really, really effective. So I'm just going to go over here to gun tight for just a second. And uh, we're showing this out of the Detroit playbook, by the way. Uh, so here you're going to see I'm going to set up the pressure. We'll first show you the problem, and then we'll talk about the solution. So you see here, one of the best blitzes in the game. Actually, honestly, against compression, it's not actually that great, but it is really good. So... Anyways, we're going to blitz uh, compression, you know, and then maybe I'm going to pull my user down here to kind of user it. And I have my running back here on the right, but I don't have anybody on the left. So what I could do is audible to a really good man beating play if they're running a man blitz slot post. And I could run something like this where I have a slant. I have a post. I'm going to block my running back and then maybe I want to put circle on a flat. And then I'm just going to simply motion Jones in one step or so and snap right there. You see he will block on the edge for me, and now I have plenty of time to be able to hit my slant route coming across the formation. So that is how you motion block. And, and what I wanna quickly say about motion blocking is the beauty of it is it has so many applications. You can apply this to spread sets, to tight sets. Uh, let me show you spread just real briefly here. I'm just gonna audible to it. Um, you know, but spread is a really, really good formation actually, again, because of this, we can motion block and still be able to attack different areas of the seam. So if I'm trying to pick something like this up, you know, maybe I want to run a, you know, a vertical concept with a drag underneath, right? 
something like this, I motion that guy in, lock him, and now I can hit my seam read right over the middle of the field. So there's so many ways to apply this tip. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get all of my eBooks, make sure you're in the Patreon. We've got a ton of really good material in there with the eBooks. And uh, again, that's just $10 to sign up for that. If you want to sign up, head down to the description of the video and click the link down below. And hopefully we'll see you guys over at the Patreon page.